Right, so the second part of the STM uh, 7.1 test is the acceptance test, which is done in the field. Now, I've got four tiles here assembled. This Pretend this is a whole room. Uh, but it's a pretty simple test. We're going to test resistance to ground and resistance across the surface, much like the qualification test. But again, we're in, the, we're in an installed room. So a couple things about being in an installed application. You really can't control uh, humidity, so you're just going to do it at ambient. Um, you want to record those conditions. And when you test the ground, the floor, once it's installed, and if it's installed properly, has been grounded. So in this case, we have our floor, and it's connected to ground. And so the one lead, when you're testing to ground, the one lead of the meter, you're going to connect to ground. Now I've got it going back to the same outlet. So these are connected to ground. So this should test the resistance from the probe through the floor to ground. Um, and that will give us the, re uh, the, the result or the resistance to ground of this system. And I'm going to test it at 10 volts. And I'm just at, uh, just above 10 to the 6th. So I'll switch it to 100. And now I'm just under. Um, so that's, that's the resistance to ground. In this test, you're going to, for every 500 square meters or roughly 5,000 square feet, you're going to test five different spots. And you're going to want to pick and choose your spots. There's no prescription in terms of exactly where you put those five spots. But, you know, good choices are in, say, high traffic areas or areas which may be more critical, like where somebody stands to work or sits on a chair that's connected to the floor. Um, but again, no real rhyme or reason, and it's five spots for every... 500 square meters. Um, that's the resistance to ground. The resistance uh, across the surface, point to point, again, just like the lab, so instead of connecting one lead of the meter to ground, we're going to connect it to another probe. Um, and in this case, we're not testing a whole bunch of different spaces, uh, like in the qualification test. We want our probes to be basically one meter apart. And uh, it's, it's really at least a meter is the way the test method is, is read. Um, and, and, it's, and it's simple. We just test it. I'm testing at 10 volts, and I'm under 10 to the 6, so that's my reading. Um, pretty simple. Like the resistance to ground, you're going to want to do this five different spots for every 500 square meters. Um, and, you know, if you're doing your resistance to ground, you pick your spot, you do your resistance to ground, like we just did. And then you would then do a resistance across the surface, and then you'll move to your second spot, third spot, fourth spot, fifth spot. And if it's a bigger area than 500 square meters, you, you do, again, five spots for every 500 square meters. Pretty simple, uh, but it does give you the information you need. So the resistance to ground measurement of STM 7.1 um, tests for the acceptance, right? We're, we've installed the floor, we accepted it. So how do you test the floor on an ongoing basis? Well. There's another standard for that. It's in TR53, which is the, it's a document that tells you how to verify your 2020 program. And it has test methods for pretty much every component of your 2020 program. So it could be test for the footwear, the test for the gowns, the test for the wrist straps. But there is a test for the flooring to verify it on an ongoing basis. And basically, it's, you test the resistance to ground just as we've described here in, uh, in the acceptance test. And it's a, so that's a simple test. It's just resistance to ground, uh, and that's the TR53 um, protocol that you would do to ongoing verify your floor. 